Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm John Perot, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Your daily dose of geek news, gadget reviews, and answers that you can use. Like an answer to the question, does Chris still use his Kindle? And the answer, yes, he does. In fact, I've been taking advantage of the Kindle Lending Library, which you can get access to if you are a Prime member. You can get a 30-day free trial if you didn't know you could do that already. Go.tagjag.com slash Prime. Use that link and I get the credit for the referral. But you don't need to memorize any URL. We put the link for you in this video's description. Just tap it. I signed up for Amazon Prime years ago and haven't regretted it since. In fact, Amazon's only continued to add value to the Amazon Prime subscription. If you use Amazon on a regular basis, you owe it to yourself to get Prime. If only because it may pay for itself quickly if you happen to use Amazon on a regular basis. I order damn near everything through Amazon, including seaweed. Now I have seaweed stuck to the roof of my mouth. Seaweed is probably the geekiest snack I know of. Although I don't know many geeky snacks. It's tasty and affordable. Although, shouldn't geeky snacks be higher in calorie and low in nutritional content? I don't know. I'm maybe a bad geek. And for the record, I apologize for any seaweed you might see for the remainder of this video. I'll also do my best not to spit any food on you, but if I do, please forgive me. Ah, it happened, didn't it? Oh, I just got it stuck to the roof of my mouth. Can you believe all of this was being done just to talk about Amazon Prime? Although I realize that the Kindle prop is not indicative of everything you might be able to get through Amazon Prime, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about. Because what else am I going to talk about today? I suppose I could talk about your guide to solid state drives if you haven't decided whether or not you want an SSD or not. We've got a free ebook available for you. Last night as I was tripping through the internet, I stumbled across Amputee OT on YouTube. This woman built a prosthetic leg out of Lego bricks. First, I watched the video. Then, I let Jesus Diaz over at Gizmodo know about it. He shared the inspirational video to their community, and long story short, she has a lot more views today. I keep trying to tell you, Lego bricks are as fun for adults as they are for kids. So for anyone who would send me a link to the Amputee OT video with the Lego leg, trust me, I already know. See, to me, anybody who's just geeky about tech isn't really a geek. For example, seaweed. No, I'm just kidding about it. I'm, I'm putting away the seaweed now. And in unrelated news, we're giving away a year subscription to Viper Internet Security over on LockerGnome.com today. You don't want to participate in a giveaway? Really? Why not? Let me guess. You think you're fully protected on the internet just because you're you. I hate to tell you this, but pride goes before destruction. I could also tell you that I don't really know what that means, but I can tell you that my mom did tell me when I was growing up. Though some would argue that I've yet to grow up. Seaweed. Total War Rome 2, a pre-order exclusive on deals.lockernome.com. Is it a bit strange that I never heard of Total War Rome in the first place? Hey, far be it from me to say that you gamers aren't gaming, because trust me, I, I, I'm all about, you know, helping you game and uh, save money and destroy my property at the same time. Microsoft is bringing the 256 gigabyte Surface Pro to the US, and that would make you yesterday's news. By the way, I was talking directly to the Surface Pro there, not to you. Because you're tomorrow's news. It seems that the Pebble smartwatch is coming to Best Buy on July 7th for only 150 bucks. Which, by the way, is what I would be happy to sell my Pebble smartwatch for. I just don't use it as much as I thought I would use it in the first place. HTC One S no longer receiving updates only 15 months after release. Oh, Android ecosystem. Must you remain so questionable? Firefox has now officially taken Performance Crown from Google Chrome. And that's good news, even if you don't use Firefox, because you know that Google is going to respond in kind. Better performance means better experiences for everybody. Our question of the day is brought to you by Audible, and if you would rather listen to your next book instead of reading it, well, 
Audible is pretty much the only option you might have. Over 100,000 books are available at go.tagjag.com slash audible plus a 30-day free trial. I seem to be all about the 30-day free trials today. This question was asked on LockerGnome.net two days ago by Nomi Florian. Ubuntu or Windows 8 for a student? In asking his question, he gave us a lot of details, but let me focus in on his last sentence in particular. I almost live, he says, in the cloud school-wise. And if you live in the cloud, what does it matter which operating system or device you use to access the cloud? The cloud is out there, not owned by any one particular entity, so what does it matter what you use to access data and services in the cloud, so long as you can access data and services in the cloud? At that point, it may boil down to a matter of cost in conjunction with preferences. If it doesn't cost you any more to get a Windows 8 experience, why wouldn't you go that route over Ubuntu? Do you like what Ubuntu has to offer? Are you a fan of open source? Why not go Ubuntu? It seems to me, in the way that I'm reading this question on LockerGnome.net, that Nomi Florian keeps bringing up the keyword Ubuntu over and over and over and over and over again. At which point I say, why not just go Ubuntu? Damn the consequences. And that's not to say that Ubuntu is inherently better than Windows 8. I just think that your personal choice doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things as much as it matters to you. For some strange reason, I keep focusing in on your happiness in relation to your choices for a computer platform. No matter which side you fall on, thanks again for liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. If you have any amount of feedback, I'm sure you're going to share it anyway, so feel free to use the comments, because the comments are free. They won't cost you anything, except for time and attention which I believe is valuable. We'll see you later.